Hey everybody, today I'm going to do a comparison video between Niagara water and Culligan water. As you can see, they're a very similar sized bottle. They're both advertised at half a, half a liter. First of all, look at Niagara. Look how much air there is in, in top. This is an unopened bottle. Look how much extra air there is in the Niagara bottle compared to the Culligan water. Um, here's another Niagara bottle, which is filled to the top. So that's kind of weird. Um, the one in the middle has so much air in it. That's kind of weird. Okay, so the Niagara water is from Home Depot. This is the cheapest bottled water I've ever reviewed and probably ever will. This was $1.99 for a 24 pack. You know, it's it's not uncommon for me to do uh, more expensive single bottles of water that, that are over $2. So, so $2 for 24 pack, that's a really good price. That's all I'm saying. Um, the only thing cheaper than that is, I guess, I guess it's tap water. And so I bought a lot of this Niagara water. We're going to be seeing a lot of this in future episodes. <laughs> I bought lots of cases of that. Okay, and so Culligan Water is a company that delivers, it's mostly known for delivering bottled water to offices around the country. And usually they're in those huge, like, I guess they're five or maybe, yeah, I guess they're five gallon jugs that uh, you put in a water cooler. They're known for delivering those mostly. They also sell water softeners and water filtering systems, but they also do just regular bottled water, and that's what I'm going to be reviewing. I don't know how much this costs because I uh, saw it in an office and took an extra bottle. An interesting thing about this, too, is um, it's. I think this bottle itself is like disformed. It's misshapen. Here, look. I'm not squeezing it. I'm, I'm not like. I'm not causing this. But see how it's skinny right now, and then fat when I turn it. It's like misshapen. I hope you can see that. It's kind of subtle in the video, I guess, but it's obvious on the camera. So I guess another difference is the Culligan water has a bigger lid. The, Ni the Niagara bottle, they say they are a supporter of Drink Up, which I uh, saw that was also on Aquafina and Dasani when I reviewed those. Drink Up, it's supposed to help out the environment and whatnot. And it also says it is a Eco Air bottle. So Eco Air, that's interesting. I looked up um, what Eco Air is on their website. And Eco Air apparently just means um, that they use less plastic and that they uh, it's all recyclable plastic and they try to use less carbon stuff. Um, but, so the, so the Niagara advertises as caring about the environment. Niagara advertises that. But here's the interesting thing. I'm in, I'm in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This bottle of water is bottled in California. This bottle of water doesn't have all that caring about the environment stuff on the bottle. But this is bottled in Pennsylvania. So, <laughs> these guys say they care about the environment. These guys don't mention that at all. But just think about how much pollution is created from the trucks driving this all the way across the country. Um, it's about a 2,500 mile drive in, uh, I guess, semi-trucks. If these guys really care about the environment, maybe they should bottle in, uh, you know, closer to where they sell their stuff. Just um, putting that out. Okay, here's another interesting thing. I have two different bottles of Niagara. This one is, uh, I guess, sponsored by by Iron Man. This is actually the, the really cheap one I bought. This is the, the the two dollar one. So I'm guessing maybe they uh maybe maybe they got the price that low because they're advertising uh, the Captain America Civil War movie on each bottle. 
Maybe that's why they got the price down. I, I, who knows? But I'm just pointing that out. I have two different versions. Okay, I really don't have much else to say about them. Uh, it says this is filtered using UV light. This is filtered using reverse osmosis. So let's just open them up and start drinking because I don't have anything else to say about them really. Here's the bigger lid. You hear that cracking? That means it's unopened and it had all that air in it. So here's Niagara. Tastes exactly like Nestle. Nestle's, uh, you know, Deer Park and all that Ice Mountain and all that stuff. It tastes exactly the same, and the bottle is exactly. Or not, I don't know if it's exactly the same, but it's very similar. Let's try Colium. Hmm. Hmm. That's that's interesting. It almost tastes. I would describe it as tasting like the the, the initial taste is just like water, just standard water. But the aftertaste, right after it goes down your throat, it's kind of like um, Sprite or 7-Up. You know how you feel those bubbles in the back of your mouth, which is kind of weird. I don't know. I've never um, described a water like that before, but it's kind of what it's like. I mean, not, not to the full extent of Sprite or 7-Up, but just, you know, a tiny, tiny bit. Yeah, that's interesting. Collion on their website, they they um they mentioned it being soft water a lot. I don't know, what does it even mean, soft water? It probably, it probably means they add, like, minerals to it, I guess. So this is from Ambridge, Pennsylvania. From Creekside Springs. That's where it's bottled at. And it says, hey, Colligan man. That's what they say in their commercials. 1-800 Collium. What's this say? It's pretty close. Um, neither, neither of them are bad, really. But... I guess I would say it's like a tie on taste, but I'm going to give the winner to Niagara just because of the price. Like, that's amazing that it was only $1.99. Only $1 I, I, most of you people probably don't even care, but I'm kind of a cheap guy. <laughs> like, $2.99, that's a really good price for a case of water. It's 10, 10 bucks for five cases. It's, that's crazy. So yeah, Niagara, you're the winner. Also, I, I saw in the news, Niagara had a, a recall recently for their water being contaminated with E. coli. 
So hopefully I don't get sick from this. But I think it was just a small, um, small batch about a year ago. So hopefully that's cleared up. I don't feel sick, <laughs> but I'm sure I'm sure it's fine. But even uh, even with that, I, I gotta say Niagara is the winner. So thanks for watching.